A major milestone today for the Oroville Dam spillway as crews complete phase one of construction. It's a familiar sight. Crews demolishing and rebuilding the main spillway after it collapsed back in February, forcing nearly 200,000 people to evacuate. And now the state says the dam is ready for winter and for the rain ahead. But communities downstream say more needs to be done. New tonight, CBS 13's Drew Bullet is live in Yuba City to explain. Drew? Yeah, some of that concern is being expre expressed by those folks here in Yuba City. And it really was an ambitious project. They took on the largest active construction project that is happening in the country, and they did so in only about eight months. And now DWR officials are telling us that the spillway is rebuilt. It took just days for the rushing water to collapse the spillway on America's largest dam. Weeks of demolition followed. Hundreds of people, helicopters, and machines descended on Oroville for months. Truckloads of concrete were used to fill the massive hole. The final load of concrete was laid around 10 o'clock this morning on the chute. That completes phase one. Phase two will take until 2019. That work includes applying joint sealant and finishing drain lines. The project manager saying today that the spillway in its current condition could withstand a release of 100,000 cubic feet of water per second. Yeah, we have a high level of confidence that it'll, it's, it's designed to that capacity. So mathematically it'll hold and we have a very high level of confidence on the concrete and RCC will hold up very well to that kind of flow. The project is an engineering marvel. But there are still other issues that many worry haven't been addressed. There's a lot more work to be done. Assemblyman James Gallagher of Yuba City says while the construction is an amazing accomplishment, the impacts of last February's crisis are still being felt by many. There was a lot of devastation downstream. Debris clutters the fish hatchery. Sediment displacement has destroyed acres of farmland. And that's one of the long term things we need to do too is we need to clean out this river and restore the riverbed. Gallagher says he hasn't seen a plan to remedy the destruction downstream, nor what steps will be taken to improve the oversight of the spillway and dam. So far, just analysis, um, you know, and what we're really looking to see is some action. A fantastic feat on the Feather River. Now, tough questions loom for people living below the earth wall, holding up water in their backyard. Now, one thing to look forward to coming up in the middle of this month will be a forensic report by an independent team that will shed a little more light on what exactly was the cause of that spillway collapse, as well as some recommendations on how the oversight can be improved for the future. Now, if the public wants to get involved, they have a chance to make public comment by the beginning of December. All right, we'll look for that report. Big